Hey YouTube, what's poppin'? Welcome back to the Corbino. Today we are ranking every single MCU or kind of MCU movie that I have seen or known about. And as we have right here, we have Legendary Status, Great, Rewatchable, Meh, and Garbo, which means garbage. And it's kind of like falls into the A, B, C, D, F tiers. And just like school rankings, and let's hop right into the video. Okay, first off here, we have... Okay, that's Falcon Winter Soldier, that's a TV show, but I'm going to start with Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was the third installment in... Oh, excuse me. In the Marvel Thor films. I believe part of Phase 3. And this is where Thor gets transported to Sakaar um, to be part of the battle world, and he has to save... Um, Asgard from Ragnarok and Hulk also makes an appearance in this movie I think this movie is a great movie full of humor awesome action and I'm going to put this one in Legendary okay next up here we have Iron Man 2 this one was kind of your um, alright kind of um, Iron Man MCU kind of movie it had a whiplash in it and it was kind of like the second installment it was the first time we had Black Widow in the MCU, and I believe this was a good movie. It was alright, but I'm going to put it in the meh category. Next up, we have The Incredible Hulk with Ed Norton, not Mark Ruffalo, because they had to get a recast later on. But this is where he fights the Abomination, and his is his origin movie. I believe this one was a uh, kind of movie. It was not that good. It was just meh. I'm just going to put this in the Garbo category. Uh, I hate to do that to a Marvel movie because like most of them are like great, but this one, it just not live up to the standards. Next up here, we have Ant-Man, which is the first one, which is in fate. It rounded up phase two of the Marvel movies, gave him Scott Lang the um, origin story for his movie, and Hank Pym also was in this movie. I believe he fought the Yellow Jacket for, um, yeah, he, the main, the Yellow Jacket was the main villain in this movie. Great comedy. It. I'm just gonna put this one in rewatchable. I hate to do that, but it's just not one of my favorite Marvel movies. Next up here we have Avengers: Infinity War. Honestly, great um, movie had. It it made two and a half hours go by like so fast, and I believe this is one of the best Marvel movies that they have made by so so far, and I'm going to put this in legendary. I'll put that right here because I'm going to put the ones right here in front, which are the best, and which ones are the worst at the back end. So honestly, um, Avengers: Infinity War way better than Thor Rag not not way better, but it's better than Thor Ragnarok. Okay, Black Widow. I have heard things about this movie. I have not even seen it myself. But I'm going to put this in the rewatchable. Only because I have not seen it. I've heard many things about it that was just meh. I've heard many things about it that was really great. But until I watch it, I'm going to put it in the rewatchable. Okay, next here we have Civil War, Captain America, Captain America Civil War. However we say that. This movie was great, and I'm going to put that in the great category. It does not live up to legendary status because of a few things. It was not as epic and um, long-lived as the uh, Infinity War movies, and it just um, was not as great. But don't get me wrong, this is one of the best Marvel movies that they've ever had, because they have so many of these characters coming and fighting, that we know and love, including the first appearance of Spider-Man himself. And, okay, we are moving on to the next movie. Next year, we have Doctor Strange, the first movie. I actually saw this one recently, and this is his origin film, as this is a really good movie. And I'm going to put that in the far beginning of the rewatchable tab, because it was not a great movie, but it wasn't a meh movie. And it definitely deserves to be in the top of the rewatchable tab. And that's what it's going to get. Next up here, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. If you love comedy and space, 
and Groot, Baby Groot, you are going to love this movie. And I'm going to put this one in rewatchable behind Doctor Strange, only because it was not as good as the first Guardians, though. But I believe this was a really great movie. It was great, and I loved it. Only because it was another adventure of Guardians, and Guardians is one of my favorite teams, and I even have the Funko Pop for Groot. And yes, next up here, we have Guardians of the Galaxy number one. This was the first installment in the Guardians of the Galaxy tab of movies, and this one deserves to be in the back end of great behind Civil War, only because this one was not as good as Civil War. I just love this movie because of the humor and the story of how they, a band of misfits got together and got some bad guys. Thanos made his first appearance, no. Yes, Thanos appeared in this movie, but it was not his first appearance. My bad. And yes, it goes behind Captain America, Civil War, and great, but it does not get up to Legendary. Next up here, we have Iron Man 3. I am not going to put this one in the Garbo category, but I'm going to put this one in front of Iron Man 2. This one was not get exactly going to get into rewatchable, but I feel like this one deserves to be the highest in the meh category. Only because this was still a great comedy movie. It was an Iron Man movie, which we all love to see because Iron Man is just like great. But I feel like this one does not live up to the hype, and we're just going to put that one there. Next up here, we have Avengers Endgame. You already know we're putting this one the very highest of Legendary. The only reason it beats Avengers Infinity War is because this one has awesome, oh, and, my, and I mean awesome, levels of epicness in this there is one scene in the end i mean it's like three years later but spoilers there's three there's a scene in the end where literally almost every single marvel superhero jumps out of portals and comes and fights fit fights thanos army you have got to see it best movie of the mcu by far Next up we have is Captain Marvel, and I'm going to be putting this one in between Guardians of the Galaxy, and but behind Doctor Strange and Rewatchable, only because this one was not my favorite, it was not bad at all, it was still a good movie, it deserves to be up in the top rankings of Rewatchable, because it had a great story, the action was great, comedy was there, but did not live up to great status. Next up here, we have Black Panther. I'm going to be putting this one in the back end of Great, only because it was a great movie. The characters were phenomenal. The performances were great. Action was awesome. The story was great. Character development was awesome. And bro, believe me, the final scene, or not the final scene, the final fight with Black Panther and Killmonger really smacked. Next up here, we have Avengers Age of Ultron, and I'm going to be putting this one in the front end of Rewatchable. Dang it, um, only because it wasn't the best. I'm going to say this is the worst Avengers movie that we've had so far, and I'm not even going to put Avengers into the meh category because that does not deserve to be there. This one had mass amount of action. Ultron was awesome. We had Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver appear in this movie. This is where they debuted. But it was not the best movie by far. It just was... It wasn't slow, but it just wasn't that great. Nothing else I can say here. Next up, we have Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I'm going to be putting this one in the back end of Great. Back end of Great. And yes... Captain America the Winter Soldier was a great movie full of action gave us the Winter Soldier and I believe the Falcon Black Widow made an appearance in it too and yeah this one was a great movie due to the amounts of action in it it gave very much character development between Captain America and Winter Soldier pretty great movie by far <clears throat> next up on the board here we have Ant-Man and the Wasp I'm going to be putting this one at the back end of Great. 
Okay, this movie, phenomenal, by the way. Um, way better than the first Ant-Man movie, by far. Um, I just feel like it was way funnier, the, um, yeah, the amounts of action were in it, but that, there was one guy in that movie I could not stand, that's why it's not getting any higher than the status it's at right now, and I feel like we should move on. Iron Man number one. We are going to be putting this one in between Guardians and Black Panther for great. The only reason I love this movie so much is because it was the f our very first Marvel film that we've ever had in the MCU. And I believe that this movie was just, it was great. It followed the comics very well. It feel like, I feel like Iron Man started and ended his franchise very well. From him starting out in the cave, building his Iron Man suit, to him dying to a snap, to the snap of a finger, to end Thanos' army in Avengers Endgame. And that's all I'm going to say for that movie, and let's go. Captain America, the first Avenger, back in of meh, because I did not really care for this movie, I do not care what you say. It was not my favorite movie, no hate to Captain America, I love Captain America, he's awesome, he's lit. And I have multiple Funko Pops of him. If you know, I have Funko Pops of, like, all my favorites, so, you know, there you go. But this one was just not great. Maybe it was because of the time period that it took in. Maybe it was because of the amount of character development. But I did not really care for this film. Next up on the board, we have Spider-Man Homecoming. This one deserves to be in between... Guardians in Civil War. And this movie... No, wait, that's Far From Home. Yeah, we're gonna put this one in the Legendary. Back in of Legendary. Because this movie was great. I love Mysterio in this movie. Bro, Mysterio was lit, bro. Um, you could see how Nick Fury and the Agent Hill fit into the storyline. Um, Spider-Man got some crazy new suits. The action in it was really good. Cinematography was great. I loved how Mysterio's character was. That's just that's because I love Mysterio. And that's all I'm going to say for this movie. Next up here we have Shang-Chi. I'm going to be putting this one in between Far From Home and Thor Ragnarok at Legendary. I've heard many great things about this movie. I have not seen this film yet. I do plan on seeing it. And bro, do you know. This film. Here, let me look it up. Um, Shang-Chi, Rotten Tomatoes, okay, this movie, I think, 92, bro, 92 in a 98 audience score, that is ridiculous, like, ridiculously good, and what I'm saying, this, and certified fresh, too, my goodness, and bro, I heard that this movie was, like, legit, it's like, brute, it's like Jackie Chan of Marvel, and I do love me some Jackie Chan action. And bro, this movie smacks in what I've heard. And I'm going to see this as soon as I can. I'm going to try to get me some tickets in the, in the movies. Bro, this is a must-see. Next up, we here we have Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm going to be putting this at the very beginning of Great. Only because this movie... No, I'm going to be putting it right here. Underneath... Civil War, and I'm going to be putting that right there, because that movie was just legitness, bro, we had the Vulture, we had the Shocker, and of course, we had first Spider-Man's first solo film, and we had Iron Man in it too, but this movie was great for developing his character, and for giving us Spider-Man for the very first time in a film in the MCU. Next up, we here we have Avengers, and I will be putting this film at in between um Spider-Man and Guardians and I feel like this movie was a gr very great movie um served its purpose very well to introduce the Avengers and give um their first major threat to the MCU which is Loki Thor I'm going to be putting this movie at the in between um Ant-Man and Black Widow at Rewatchable, and I believe this movie 
was all right for its time. It just was, nah, it was just all right. It was, <sighs> bro, I don't even remember this much of the movie because I just don't remember watching it. It was just not that great of a movie. I remember it was all right, but it was just all right. But I would love to rewatch it sometime soon. And yes, next up we here we have Thor: The Dark World. I'm throwing that one at the worst movie of all time for the MCU because I hated the Dark Elves. I hated the entire com. I hated the entire movie itself. It was not a terrible movie, but I just hated the movie. Bro, I just hated this movie, my guy. Just, if I if I had to recommend it, I didn't watch it unless you're just watching through everything. So, last off here, we have Venom. I'm going to be including this only because, and I know it's a Sony movie, but and it's not licensed by MCU. But I hear that he is making appearance into the MCU, so therefore I am going to include it. And this movie is going to be at the very end of Great. I know this movie was very slow, it wasn't as action-packed as I wanted it to be, but this movie, man, it lived up to its standards, and I'm going to give that movie a great ranking. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the very end of my ranking every single Marvel film that we have had so far, and I will see you in the next one.